back to this episode of Fireside Chat. It is now January 31st, 2017. Where are you at? What have you done? That's the question you need to be asking yourself. A lot of people made New Year's resolutions. They've already broke them. Do you want a homestead? Do you want to be a homesteader? Then I recommend you do something. So far this year, I've planted over 100 plants. I just planted another 96 seeds. The second week of February, I'll be planting another 96 seeds. I'm going to be building my agriculture bed and getting things accomplished. So question is, if you're ready to homestead, what are you waiting for? Yeah, it might be snowing outside. It might be cold outside. But to go to Tractor Supply or Big R and pick up some cattle panels so you can make a pen for your animals or get some cattle panels and use for trellises and in the garden, you can do that in the winter. What do you do? You pick it up, you sit it outside your house, you wait till spring, you set it up, you have your garden or animals going. If you're not doing nothing right now, you're not going to go nowhere. Everybody says, oh, I wish I could homestead. Oh, I wish I could be a homesteader. I wish I could have animals. I wish I could have a great garden. But the problem is, those people just wish, wish, wish. Wishing doesn't get you nowhere. Dreaming doesn't get you anywhere. Hoping doesn't get you anywhere. Thinking doesn't get you anywhere. Unless you make the move. It's got to be a physical move in the direction of getting something done. Here is the last day of January. And what am I doing? I'm not sitting around wasting my time. I'm here. I'm cutting up pieces of wire. Because in my earlier video, I started doing some fencing. I'm trying to get the fencing done with the stucco wire so that way I can start building the hoover culture bed across the front of my house which I'm gonna have a bunch of videos coming up on that how to do it you're gonna see me doing it and then you're gonna see videos this spring of how much food I can produce well I've decided I'm gonna be motivated this year I went ahead I got a website built by one of my good friends in Indiana named Ron Harris and he's got a company www.hcs.com and he does all different types of things with alarms, lock picking, websites and a lot of other things. So if you're interested go to his website check him out and he built my website. It's today's homesteader store.com. No apostrophe S. And you can go there and check out what he's done for me. And his website's on the bottom of my page that you can check out his information and go from there if you need anything done. But that's my motivation this year. I started a website. I got business cards coming. I got a Facebook. Today's Homesteader Store at Facebook. And I'm going to go somewhere this year. I'm going to start growing a bunch of vegetables. I'm going to get plants going. I'm going to get my fruit trees put in. At least 10 fruit trees this year. I'm going to go ahead and get more animals. A lot of my family, the ones watching this video, are probably like, Oh, great. He's getting more animals. My son, my grandson, my nephew, my cousin, he's crazy. But yeah, I'm going to get more animals. This year is going to be a big year for us. We're going to go ahead. We're going to have three Hooger culture beds built. I'm going to get one Hooger culture bed, which is like either 8 or 10 foot wide by 20 or 25 foot long. Bed, I'm going to get that enclosed. So this winter, I'll be able to go ahead and grow year-round. 
And I'll also be using my upstairs bathroom, as you've seen in earlier videos, of what I'm eating right now. I've got cucumbers, sugar snap peas, green beans, tomatoes, everything going on in my bathroom. So that's going to give me more space to grow. I'll have the three beds, the one that I'll have enclosed, I'll be able to grow throughout the winter. And I'll be able to grow all three beds all summer long, all spring, summer, and fall. Now, because I got motivated and I planted all these seeds, I've got all these plants going. I'm going to have vegetables the end of May, first part of June, when most of you are just getting started. And the reason you're just getting started is because you're slacking. You say you want to do something. But you don't do it. You need to do it. So that's one of the things that big happening this year. It's going to be the three Hoover culture beds. The second thing is going to be 10 fruit trees are going in this year. Then the next thing will be I'm going to be ordering a stainless steel chicken plucker to be able to butcher out chickens, ducks, uh, geese, and turkeys. So that's going to be another big thing because then I'll be able to start selling meat. I'll be able to thin out my animals this winter so I don't have as many animals to feed, as many animals to take care of. And by butchering out my some of my animals, that will fill my freezer up. And by having meat in my freezer means I'm not spending money at Walmart. I'm not spending money at the grocery store. That money is going to get saved all winter long, all the way up until next March. And I'm going to be taking that money and buying the next things next year. So, so far we got the Hoover culture beds, we got the fruit trees, the chicken plucker. And then this fall, if I can save up enough money, I've got to see what I can do between building the Hoover culture beds and everything like that. But if I can come up with the money this fall, I'm going to be getting some female goats that are pregnant. So that way I can have baby goats spring of 2018. Because in 2018, I'll be getting the honeybees and I'll be getting pigs. So before I got get pigs, one of my videos I've done on Fireside Chat, homesteading A to Z, Starting to end, something like that. I can't think of the name right now. But it's how to homestead A to Z. I know that's the first part of it. But that shows you. I've got to have milk goats before I get my pigs. And some of you may ask, why? Why do you want milk goats before you get pigs? The reason why? Each pig costs about $50 a month to buy feed. If I have milk goats, if I have at least two milk goats, that's between two and a half and three gallons of milk a day. So that two and a half, three gallons of milk a day will feed the pigs. Along with chicken eggs that I'll hard boil and feed to the pigs. And along with that will be vegetables and things out of the garden. I want my animals to have a well-rounded diet. I don't just want to give my pigs protein. You give pigs protein, that's the only thing they know. And the meat is a certain way. And you're not getting all the nutrients and everything that you can. That's like if you sat down and ate nothing but lettuce every day for your whole life. It's not well-rounded. It's not balanced. We all need vegetables. We all need a little bit of fruit here and there. We need sweets. We need oils and fats. And so on and so forth. So that's what I'm going to do. So this year, I'm going to have those four things going. I started uh, January 27th. I got the website built. I got the Facebook page established. I got business cards coming in. They'll be in February 8th to February 9th. And I'm going to get going. With the Hoover Culture beds being built this year and all the seedlings and everything I've got going, I'm going to have some product to sell. 
Um, I'll be talking to somebody tomorrow about making soap uh, because she makes amazing soap. And every time she makes it uh, at her place of business, she sits it on the counter and it's normally sold out within a couple days to a week, depending on how much she brings in. She has not done the soap for a while, so I'm going to see if she would be interested in me chipping in half the upfront cost and go spend a day or two down at her house and help her make the soap. If I can talk her into that, then on today's homesteaderstore.com, we'll be offering that soap. And with the soap, I'll try to get Ron to build a shipping thing, and we should be able to ship out soap. So if you're interested in buying the soap, I'll be having that on the store if I can talk uh, this person into letting me go into business with them. And if so, I'll make a video as we make the soap. I'll have ingredients ingredient list on what's in the soap. And you'll be able to see, to see it start to finish from A to Z. Another thing I'm going to be doing this year on the homestead is starting in August, August of 2017, I am going to be opening the homestead to visitors. Because I don't know too many places that as a everyday consumer that you can go out see the process of where the food's grown how it's grown the environment it's grown and what's in the surrounding area so this way any of my customers that are buying eggs and vegetables and so on and so forth for me this year if you are interested in visiting the homestead You'll be able to get a small town, hands-on experience. You can come out, to see the homestead, see where your food's coming from, seeing it being sprouted, grown, picked, and to your belly. Not only will you be able to get to see all that, but if you're looking at picking your own vegetables and eggs and everything like that, I'll be allowing that too. So when you come out to visit, you can go ahead, do your grocery shopping, and pick everything right off the homestead. So that's going to be another major thing I'm going to have planned this year. And then I'll be looking at 2019 and 2020. I'm going to start figuring out classes and pricing. And I'm going to start doing weekend classes. So if there are people in the Colorado Springs, Canyon City Salida area that would like to come out to the homestead and learn how to milk goats, butcher out animals, grow a good garden, and more things about living off grid such as solar, uh, rain catchment filtration systems, and so on and so forth. I'll be getting classes together and offer them probably in the spring of 2019. The reason I can't do the classes right now is the simple fact that I don't have anything set up yet. The Hoover culture beds aren't built, the milk goats aren't here, the bees aren't here, the hogs aren't here, the flower garden's not built. So I'm going to need a couple years to get that stuff going. But as you take this journey alongside today's homesteader, we're going to make things happen. We're going to become... A channel that's going to hopefully impress and get you to want a homestead. Another thing I don't want to do, which I watch a lot of YouTubers, is everybody's going over... Uh, now I can't think of the website. But there's a website that everybody's going over to, and it's costing money to watch their videos. That's one thing I don't want to do. I don't want to do what everybody else is doing. I don't want to get greedy. I don't want to cost you money. I love watching the people that are changing over. But the problem is, I'm like you. I have my bills. I'm on a, limit, a limited amount of income. 
And to go and spend a dollar a month on this channel and a dollar a month on that channel, before you know it, you're 20 $25 a month spending when you could be taking that $20, $25, finding free videos on YouTube such as this, learn how to homestead and put that $25 a month on the side so you can save up for land, so you can save up for hog panels, cattle panels, a chicken coop, chickens, vegetables, dirt, whatever you need to homestead. So that's one promise I make to you. I will stay on YouTube. I will be here for at least the next 10 years unless I get run over by a bus or something like that. So back to the question. Tomorrow is February 1st. A month is gone from this year. What have you done? I want to know. Put a comment in the comment box below. Tell me if you've planted some seeds, if you bought some seeds. What have you done to prepare for this year to homestead? Have you put money aside to save up to buy that land that you don't have yet? Have you put money aside to build that chicken coop that your chickens need? Because now you double the population of your chickens. You just don't have space in the current chicken coop. These are things you got to think about, things you got to worry about, and things you got to fix. And once again, nothing ever gets fixed until you move that first foot, that first hand, or sink that first nail. You got to get moving. You've got to get motivated. You can't sit here through 2017. And say, oh, I wish I was a homesteader. Wish I could homestead. Wish I bought land. And waste another year. Because before you know it, I'm going to be making this video next year in 2018. And I'm going to say, guess what? You just wasted one more year that you could have been homesteading. One more year you could have saved money and bought that land. One more year you could have became stress-free. Happy. Free. What does that mean to you? What does being happy, what does being free, what does being stress-free mean to you? For me, I, th I think you got to get moving. I think you got to get motivated. I think you got to do what's going to make you happy. That 9-to-5 job in the city is not cutting it. Being in that concrete jungle in the city is not cutting it. I think we all need to get back to Mother Nature where we're looking at the stars at night, sitting on the porch with family and good friends, and not in front of the computer, such as right here, or on the cell phone, wherever my cell phone went. Because there's too many times that we're wasting sitting in front of a computer, sitting on the phone, and not having human interaction. Not getting back to our roots, back to Mother Nature where you can be out in the country and see the Milky Way, see shooting stars, listen to the coyotes howl. We just need to rewind. We need to go back in time. We need to take the technology that we have now to help us to get back and live a healthy, wholehearted honest way of life so hopefully this gives you a little bit of advice hopefully this gives you a little bit of motivation and hopefully my words aren't on deaf ears and you're going to do something with your life this year you're going to do something with your homesteading you're going to make something happen if you like this video please like comment share and subscribe if you have any comments, questions, or concern, please leave those in the box down below. And I hope everybody has a good night. Take care. Live happy, live free. That's the only way to be.